You out there, YouTube? It is Krakoon again, bringing you another gameplay <laughs> commentary, man. Y'all know how it is. We're gonna be using something a lot different this time around, and I know I promised this a long, 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 long time ago. And it's some LMG gameplays, but I guess those shit out, so I fast forward it up quite a lot. But this is a pretty rapid style gameplay, you could say, but it's absolute rapage with the HK21 or ZHK21. But. This gun is from Germany and it performs at very high standards when trying to get sustained fire down long ranges and it proves to be quite a magnificent weapon. I love to use this weapon quite a lot because it seems to me to be uh, uh, it seems to be very precise with its all findings and destructive powers and I do not like how the extended max only offers a uh, 60 clips or 60 bullets for something along the lines of that. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Okay, but yeah, man, you know, as I'm using HK21, and that was, as I was saying, I don't like how the extended mags fucking offers only 60 bullets in the clip. And how the LMG only starts off with like 30 bullets and shit. So I don't know, it's a bit weird how the LMGs have got shit all ammo to start off with. Out of all the S uh, LMGs though, I like this one the most. And I don't know why I like this one the most, because it's probably the shittest gun of the lot. If I'm, Well, maybe not in fact. What's the other one now? The Stone is Beast. M60's Beast. Uh, actually, is, that, is there only three LMGs? Is it actually only three? Or am I missing one? RPK is pretty beast, and then the HK one's pretty shit. HK twenty one's pretty shit, but I like it the most, and I don't know why. But it is shit. But to me, it's not shit because I can do pretty beast with it. And I got more gameplays to come with it anyway. But I just like the way the gun fires me over all the other M sixties. Uh, the M sixties like the stone is like the RPK is like. I don't even know what the RPK is like. And the HK20 was like... <laughs> I don't even know, mate. Just it's like... I don't even... Nah, fuck it. Doing fucking sound effects and all that kind of shit. But anyway, man, I'll jump into a little topic here, seeing as though we've got it going about. I was thinking today, yeah, because in my last commentary, I was talking about how COD might not get knocked off by Battlefield 3, but how everybody wants to see it get knocked off by Battlefield 3. But... There's no diversity in the market because people emulate COD and what have you and all that kind of shit. But, COD pretty much struck big with Infinity Ward and their look into Modern Warfare. And I'm not talking about the game, I'm talking about the actual realistic kind of Modern Warfare shooter instead of like the actual game being called Modern Warfare. Because COD struck into it big time, speaking literally, because originally there was never a modern COD shooter. It was all... It was all World War Two. Well, no, it wasn't World War One. It was just World War Two, pretty much. I'm pretty sure about that, anyway. But pretty much, it was COD Four that set the standard for modern Call of Duty shooters. And pretty much since then, there's not been a World War Two shooter. So you could kind of say it's the new generation. Well, it is obviously the new generation of COD games on consoles and shit. But speaking out of CODs and that. It's like COD 4 started a new generation. Oh, no, really, fuck it. I'm right, I'm right, yeah. Forget what I said. But COD 4 pretty much set a pinnacle for balance within the COD games. And it's interesting how this factor came about because, as I said, it was the first modern Call of Duty shooter. So that's why it was set as the pinnacle of, uh, like, the modern Call of Duty shooter and why all the games since then have never been able to emulate that kind of style of that game and everything like that. But hopefully that's going to change with Modern Warfare 3. But maybe due to the it may be due to the fact as well that it is modern and so many more different warfare like technologies that developers include in the game is a uh, contributing to modern Call of Duty shooters not being able to have balance. And I don't know why because Black Ops is kind of like Vietnam and all that kind of shit, but as I pick up this nice little breaking them down with the fucking HK-31 man, that's what it's good for, crowd fucking control, getting them in a choke point and just you know how it is, and then my chopper gun is pretty much do fuck all both time rounds, and about to get this for the 30 kill, doesn't happen for me, 
doesn't happen, I don't get the 30 kills, so it's going to be a KD in the title, but hey, who gives a fuck, because people are going to flock to it with a 14.50 KD. You all know how it is. But that's the end of the gameplay slash commentary, man. I might pick up more about the things and what have you. But you see there, I've got free bar as well, so I'm not host, so you can't bitch at me for that. But anyway, peace.